Well guys, the temps are getting chillier and chillier and the hunting season is starting to wind down a little bit. Something that really pops into the mind is first ice. I end up packing up some bear essentials and heading over to central Wisconsin to meet up with my sister and my brother-in-law. And in the morning we'll have another drive north to where we're hopefully finding some safe ice where we can get into some action. First step on the ice. Feels good. Getting flags set now. Should be able to get into some pike today, as well as some panfish. Should be good. Feels good to be on ice. Nice easy pull with just the glare ice. Today's gonna be a high of like 45. 45, a little windy. We got nice clear ice on most spots. Should be awesome. First I fish pro set of the year. We're gonna have about probably well two, four, six, eight, eight flags set. And then we're gonna be jigging for panfish also. Beautiful sunrise. The first flag of the morning. That didn't take long. She's spinning like a rocket. She is spinning. Whole bunch of line off. <laughs> it's hard when they're running, yeah. You, you, honey, don't give them too much time because there, there's a lot of logs. Got him? Yeah. Any size? No, not yet, no. Doesn't feel like it. Oh yeah. There's a lot of logs, so you gotta yeah. be careful in here. Give it a long time. <gasps> nice. <laughs> Bikerooski on the board. Right. There's a good eater. Perfect work on Tina's end. If some bleeding a little bit, we're gonna keep it. Cut it up. First pike of the year, Tina. Woo! Hammered it. Yeah, that's a very good sign. Probably can't see it, but old Dusterino said make sure and pick up your pike because there's an eagle sitting on the ice, probably about way out there. We got another flag. Here we go. Another flag, let's see if he's turning. Come on, baby. Far run. Oh yeah, she's still there. Oh yeah. 20 pounder? Nah, I don't know if it's big as Tina's. Oh, he let off. No, he's still there. Came back towards the yeah, I think so. Ooh, nice, about the same size, sweet, nice piker there, ooh that one's bleeding, might be another keeper, what do you think Tina, probably like a 23, 23, 24 incher, perfect eater, we'll bring him back, a deep one, number three flag, Keep it consistent, let's go. Ooh. As I say, I noticed right when I walked up to mine too, it kind of took off, so they definitely hear us. Nice. Pikers are hitting. Nice. Later, dude. We are getting some northern. That's good, at least. 
couple panfish here and there. We're marking a lot, but we're actually fishing in like three to five, three to six feet of water. We got the flags set up along the weed line in about three feet of water. And then we're jigging in like four to six. Working a lot of panfish, but they just don't want to hit very hard right now. So hopefully that picks up. Where are we at? Bucket, your bucket flag. Up. Bucket flag. Another flag, baby. And she's just ripping and roaring. I can see the glare come off that spanner. Oh, the slow creep. Oh, that's 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 a 37. Get George out of here. <laughs> Thirty-seven and a half. <laughs> you little snaker. Oh, snaker. Back in the drink. How dare you say that? Oh, it's a ten. <laughs> what do you want, Jordy boy? Later, Might be on a log now. That came off a little bit, but I think he got him back into it. Got him back. Got him back. Got him. I don't know if I'm pulling up a bunch of weeds now with him though. Nope, it's a nice one. All right. All right, another piker. That dude's bleeding pretty good too. Oh yeah, he bleeding pretty good. Nice keeper pike. Well, it's been slowing down a little bit. I just popped that iFish Pro uh, Northern. So we're gonna get a little grub in us and then pack up and head on over to try and get on some pan fish.
crappy. Little crap dogger. Oh, there's a nice one. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Oh, really? Come on. Holy swamps. Nice. Crappy there, little guy. Just heading off. Bucket full of fish. Okay, we're gonna get these babies all cleaned up. We'll do a little time lapse of the cleaning. guys it's been a couple of days since we caught those pike got them all cleaned up and tonight we're going to be doing one of our favorites done it before but it always turns out super good and that is fish cakes i got requested by my buddy brett to do some pike eating because he loves it so much so this one's for you brother what i did was just chopped up some green onions some celery really fine then all you really need is like breadcrumbs and what else you want to add to it. So I seasoned the pike up a little bit and I'm actually going to just cook it first so that I can pull those Y bones as well as um, flake it up uh, for the mixture for the fish cake. So I got the pike cooked all the way through. What I'm going to do now is basically just let it cool a little bit. Go in through with a fork and basically pull out all the Y bones and put the meat into a, a mixing bowl so that I can put all the ingredients together. So we got all the pike meat kind of broken up. Looking super good. Go through it a little bit more just to make sure there's no bones in it for the kiddos. Put in our green onions. Celery. One egg. I like to add a bunch of seasoning. This is old Dano's. Put a little bit of Cajun in. Then we're going in with the breadcrumbs. Do a little bit at a time so that you can find that right consistency. As soon as you can kind of make a patty with it, you're in good shape. So we'll, we'll say about that consistency. You can make a patty with it. Some vegetable oil getting hot. What you want to do is just patty these up just like hamburger and then uh, lightly pat each side with some seasoned breadcrumbs. All right, looking super good. Here, try that piece. It's nice and cooled off. Good? See how fast she good? Grabbed, snatched it. She was like, what's that? These ones crumbled off a little bit too much, so I did add another egg, and these ones stuck together really good. So you just got to find that good consistency. Good stuff? Yep, super good. Anyways, we got first ice accomplished for this year. Gonna be going after it hard. Little bit of deer hunting still left to do. Thanks y'all for watching. Take care.